So in our example, we have an expression with quite a few brackets and coefficients. And what we want to do is simplify it. So we can identify three different parts in this expression. First, we have 2x minus 3x plus 2. Then we have 3 multiplied by x minus 2 squared. And then lastly, we have 5 times x minus 5, x plus 5. A common mistake that people make is to multiply this coefficient in with every bracket. And they do the same in the middle term, and they do the same at the end. Now this is a common mistake which we want to avoid. First, let us remove or multiply out each of the sets of brackets individually. So in the yellow part, we are left with 2 times x squared minus x minus 6. And when we expand x minus 2 squared, we are left with negative 3 multiplied of x squared minus 4x plus 4. And when we expand x minus 5, x plus 5, we are left with 5 times x squared minus 25. Now what we can do is we can distribute each of the constant values or integers in front of the brackets into those brackets. So for the section highlighted in yellow, we'll have 2x squared minus 2x minus 12. And then in the section highlighted green, we have negative 3x squared plus 12x minus 12. The reason why we have plus 12x is because we are multiplying negative 3 with negative 4x and a negative multiplied by a negative would give us a positive answer. And then in the blue, we'll have 5x squared minus 125. Now what we can do is identify like terms. So 2x squared, negative 3x squared, and 5x squared are like terms, which we can add up together. And that is equal to 4x squared. Then, negative 2x plus 12x are like terms which we can add together. And that will give us plus 10x. And lastly, we have negative 12 minus 12 minus 125. And when we add that together, we are left with minus 149.